What's going on, people? I am DJ Obi, world record holder, Pepsi DJ ambassador, and I'm here. What's going on? What's up? Um, I come from Dr. Livia Jonoma. Uh, I am the seed of Dr. Livia Jonoma, so I cannot speak about DJ Obi as a brand and not speak about Livia Jonoma. You know, I can and, and not even speak about growing up under that you know, influence and, and, and such a powerful impact in my life. So um, I wouldn't even say, I will say it's a definite plus, never a minus, but you know, it's right, it's right, it's simultaneous. So it's, it, it, it comes together. There's eight of us and I'm number three. I'm the, I'm the first boy, um, first son of Livia Jonoma. And um, it was very interesting growing up, you know, watching my dad work in TV and radio and even transitioning into corporate life when he worked with NMPC. But one thing that remained was discipline. One thing that remained was, you know, lessons from, you know, how you deal with people. You know, sometimes when I talk to my friends, I tell them, just be a good person because it takes you far. You can have all the money in the world and have a very nasty attitude, or you can be very broke and be a very personable, you know, human being. And you see that that person that you feel has nothing actually has everything because of the kind of person they, they are. You know, if you're good to people, people always be good to you and people will keep being good to anything that's associated with you, you know. So it was it was an amazing life lesson growing up, you know, having a father like Livia Jonoma. So in school, I did mass communication and broadcasting, concentration in print and broadcast media. And technically, I'm, I'm working in my space, you know, even though it's in a different departments which is DJing and music and stuff like that but even as a DJ I can be on the radio I can be on TV you know I went to school for this I trained for it I also went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting so I can be an OAP on the radio even if I'm not behind the decks I can actually even be a program director program manager anything v v v VTR I can you know be in the control room it's, it's the full media background. I can work for radio, TV, copyright, and all that kind of stuff. So my, I am still within my industry and my, my discipline. So. DJ in the mix. Oh my God. Shout out to all the DJs. Jimmy Jack. FX2. Shout out, shout out, shout out, DJ Shino, DJ Fresh Waves. <laughs> All right. Back in the day, I want to bring up my DJ, my brother, DJ Neptune. In fact, I'll talk about the Nigerian music industry from the time when I started paying attention to it from the time of my father, Livia Jonoma and Kenny and D1 and ID. You know, the industry from that time to now, it's amazing to watch how, you know, then it was grassroots. We heard the word a lot, grassroots, grassroots coming up. It was like, oh, who is this grassroots artist? Or who is this, you know, we didn't really hear commercial a lot. Maybe in terms of like Charlie Boy and then, and, and King Sonia Day, Onyeka Weno and the rest of them. You know, but then the, the music industry tried changing and the global eye, we started catching the global eye, you know, Two-Face started winning international awards, doing soundtrack for movies and stuff like that. Move on to people like the band, you need to see Kichuku, MI, you know, it, it's, it's an amazing, it's been an amazing journey for our nation in the entertainment industry and to see where we are now. Right now we're sitting at the top on our own table. You know, my advice is that table is still a little shaky. We need to solidify the table. Everybody needs to come on board. We need to own what is ours before somebody else takes it from us. But we're doing a fantastic job and I'm proud to be part of the journey and proud to be part of the entertainment industry in Nigeria. So it took me, it took me a while. It took me a very long while because I come from a school of originality, you know, and I'm not used to faking anything. So I don't produce music, you know. I don't sing. You know, I've written some things, but I've never really done been into songwriting. So when it when it came down to it here in Nigeria, when DJs start putting out music and putting out music videos, 
It was a little difficult for me, but like I said, I come from a school of originality, talent over hype. So I stuck to my guns as a DJ and just, I really wanted to establish my brand as DJ OB. Understand that I'm a DJ first before anything else. Um, and then last year, I put on my first record with CDQ called Pata Pata. And um, I felt like it was the right time as well to do that just because I had ex executed the goal of trying to establish my name as a DJ and my brand as a DJ. So now I can diversify and go into other things. And it, it doesn't even have to be music. A lot of DJs want to go into music. It could be anything. You can go into movies. You can go into even just becoming a record label exec. But for me, I just needed to establish my foundation. So that way, when I decide to branch out into anything, no one is asking the question, well, where did he come from or who is he? You understand that the foundation has been set already and this is where I am coming from and this is why I can say that I want to do music or film or anything like that because I have been exposed to it. Because if you understand that this guy comes from the music industry, you understand that, okay, I know what I'm doing or talking about. So if I'm putting out music, I'm putting out because I'm passionate about it, not necessarily for hits, not necessarily for commercial purposes. I'm putting it out because as a DJ, this is my musical interpretation of what I like to hear and what I believe people would like to consume as well. DJ OB on deck. Um, so it did get to the time where I needed the hype. I needed the hype in Lagos. Um, I needed the publicity. When we say hype, we're really talking about publicity, promo, you know, all of that. Um, it got to the time where I needed all the hype possible when I moved back to Nigeria. I needed to make a name for myself and I needed to, to get attention. And that's really what drove me to doing the world record. I really, really wanted to just figure out what PR plan I could come up with that can help me solve the problem of answering the question for people when they hear my name, DJ Obi, and they say, who is this? Or oh, I don't know him. I needed to figure it out. And the world record was the idea we came up with to, to put the name and put the brand out there. Parting words it would, would be for anybody that's out there watching this, um, don't stop pushing. Don't. I know. I know. All of us hear it, and, and sometimes even when they ask me these questions, I, as much as I want to say it, I don't want to because I, I will, I'm, I've been one of those guys to hear someone on the other side of the you know lens or the table, TV, radio, telling me keep going. Do you know God's time is best? But it's the truth. Keep working hard and believing in yourself and working on your dreams, on your goals, on your plans. Don't let anybody tell you you cannot achieve. One thing that coronavirus should have taught everybody is that impossible is nothing because never a day did we think that one day the whole world would come to a halt except for rapture day, but we're still here. So believe it, impossible is nothing, believe in yourself and keep pushing. <laughs>